On that note, Monica, the podium is yours. Thank you very much, Stefan. So good afternoon, everybody. I hope you are well today. We are going to have a very short briefing, so bear with me, OK? I'm aware of the, the time. So um, I start with a statement by the President of the General Assembly on the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The IPCC report importantly demonstrates that it is possible to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees centigrade, as long as we are able to work quickly and collectively we need global leadership and shared responsibilities. We must take action. President Espinosa also spoke about the situation of uh, developing countries and vulnerable regions, including the small island developing states. Uh, today, she is delivering statements to three uh, General Assembly committees. This morning, she spoke at the first Committee on Disarmament and International Security. She congratulated the Ambassador of Romania, His Excellency Mr. Jan Jinga, for chairing the work of the first committee. She mentioned three points that are pertinent to our efforts towards disarmament and international security. First, we must build on the strong commitments world leaders made in the General Assembly two weeks ago, we all remember. The second point relates to the need to encourage countries to sign and ratify the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons adopted last year. And third, we must strengthen inclusion as a means to promote international peace and security. And in a tweet, President Espinosa highlighted the importance of involving women and young people in the prevention of conflicts. And for the agenda today, we bring her agenda every day to you. The president will meet the permanent representative of Norway, His Excellency Ambassador Tori Hatram, and the ambassador of Chile, His Excellency Milenko Iskonic. On the agenda, I would also like to flag that these meetings can change at the last minute, so it's good to uh, double check. Uh, but a uh, readout will be uh, ready for you uh, later on our website. And on the interview side, believe it or not, we do not have any interviews happening today. So this is all from me. Any questions? Yeah, go ahead, Stefano. Yes. Well, um, same thing. Mm -hmm. First, uh, the Saudi journalists, in general, the attack on, uh, on, on the press mm -hmm. that we see. What I know, maybe the statement will be generalistic also from the president of the General Assembly. Mm -hmm. But the president, uh, of this president of the General Assembly, had been uh, outspoken on the freedom of the press. And so I, I would like to know, there is maybe some idea, some solution, something, some something that is more than a statement that she thinks that can come up outside of the General Assembly soon about this issue. And then if you allow me, also because she's from Colombia. No, she uh, is from Ecuador. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. she's from Ecuador, mm -hmm. but she's from, a, I want Neighbor. to say she's from, a, a, uh, you know, from the, this continent mm -hmm. and uh, from Latin America. And today, this country is uh, the Columbus Day event where um, a lot of people is proud of, of uh, today. At the same time, other people are suffering about the celebration. And so in the past, in this country, there has been uh, some sensitivity. The President of the United States in the statement had been trying to, uh, trying to encounter this uh, uh, sen sensitivity, different sensitivity. I just read a few hours ago the statement that President Trump came up with this. Instead, he's only not a mention at all of the suffering of indigenous people after, uh, you know, the Col Colombo and then others came to this continent. So what is the position on the, of the President of the General Assembly on this particular issue of the history of this, of the entire continent? Okay. On your first question, actually, um, the President of the General Assembly is very concerned about the disappearance of uh, Mr. Jamal Khashoggi. Uh, we understand that this is now um, investigation going on, so uh, we, of course, uh, have to, as we all know, when an investigation takes place, that we have to give space to due process to take place. But the president reiterates the importance of press freedom. 
the need, the need for journalists to operate in a free environment, in a safe environment, to be able to exercise their profession in a safe manner, you know, free of harassment or anything else. So in this particular, this particular case, we are talking about a disappearance, yes. But also she condemns the killing of journalists in Bulgaria, Victoria, Marinova, and reiterates the importance of press freedom again. Uh, she has noted some reports, as we all uh, did this morning, of uh, sexual violence in this uh, terrible murder. So she understands that uh, there is an investigation going on again, but she has made clear that there is zero, zero tolerance to sexual aggression, sexual violence, and again, uh, that journalists should operate in a free and safe uh, manner. To your second question, we, uh, as a matter of policy, we are not going to comment on any um, statement made by any um, head of state or, or government, uh, but I would like to, I don't have any specific comments on that either, but uh, I would like to um, uh, highlight that uh, President Espinosa is somebody who uh, knows uh, the cause of indigenous peoples uh, very, very well. Um, at, uh, you know, in her 20s, uh, she was in the Amazon working as a volunteer, and afterwards she worked professionally there. So she knows this, um, their, their cause very well, and she understands it. But uh, on this particular issue, uh, I don't have any comment for you, Stefano. Excuse Hamid, and Thank afterwards you. Monica. you. Okay. Um, what do you think her personal uh, position vis-a-vis -vis the appointment of a special envoy on the safety of journalists? Mm -hmm. Once it comes to the GA, one day it will come, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it, during her presidency. What is her position on that, uh, that position? Mm -hmm. As um, um, the other spokesperson <laughs> just um, uh, made clear, this is a process that has to go to the General Assembly. And when it get, has to go to the General Assembly, it's a matter of member states uh, deciding on this. But um, I think it is clear from, from her point of view uh, that uh, she is uh, in favor of press freedom and people operating in a safe, uh, I mean, professionals, all professionals, but here we're talking about journalists, correspondents, operating in a, in a free uh, and um, uh, safe manner. So she is in favor of uh, press freedom, yes. So if yes. you would mind, if you wouldn't mind saying Pardon? your name. Pardon? Your name and your outlet, sorry. Uh, Iftikhar Ali from Associated Press of Pakistan. Thank you very much, yes, <coughs> yes please. Uh, <laughs> you highlighted three points mm -hmm. of PGA mm -hmm. in the disarmament committee. Did she also advocate the creation of nuclear weapon free zones around the world, in various regions of the world, mm -hmm. especially the Middle East? Okay. Well, first of all, I cannot answer your question right now uh, on this because we haven't spoken about it. So I, But I am uh, aware that she, uh, in interviews, and I think for one outlet of, of, of your uh, country, or I don't remember anymore, my colleague Mark Seddon, who is here, would probably remember. But in an interview to one of outlets, uh, of the media outlets, uh, she highlighted, for instance, that she comes from... Uh, uh, the first region to become free of uh, uh, nuclear weapons, which is Latin America and the Caribbean. So this is an important point for her in, in her agenda. But I can get back to you on this with a specific uh, uh, point or explanation or statement. Okay. I think uh, that's about it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I see you tomorrow. Uh, we will see about the, the briefing, but I, I'll let you know in the morning. Okay. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Thanks. Thanks.